everyone, my name is Mr. Bishop and let's just jump right into things. So let's say that you're starting with a video of someone with the green screen behind them. Now just an FYI ahead of time, you want to make sure that if you are in the green screen video or if it's a student or if it's a teacher or whomever it is, make sure that they don't wear anything green because then that will blend into whatever background you end up using. So once you have that video all recorded, you're going to jump into Wii Video and then you're going to click on My Media and then Import and then click on the video that you just recorded with the green screen. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to find the background that you want to use. So you're going to click on Videos and then in that search browser, you're going to look for anything that you want to. Uh, beach, lake, uh, I'm going to look up city in this case and then you find a video that works for you. You can click play on any of those to watch all of those. So now before you add in that background video, you're going to need to add in another video track. So you're going to click on the plus icon and then click video. That should add in another video track for you. Now you can take that background video that you found and drag that underneath the green screen video. So you'll need to drag the green screen video to that top track. Okay, so now you're gonna do a little bit of work on your green screen video. So go ahead and double click on that green screen video and then head down to keying. You're going to now click that little dropper tool and then bring that over to where the main green is uh, on your green screen video and then just click on the green. So now you'll see that that's removed the green screen and you should see the background behind it. So at that point, there's really not a whole lot more that you need to do. There are a couple settings below that you can tweak and see if that helps your video or not, but most of the time I don't need to use those. So now you're gonna click on that Save Changes button at the top right hand corner, and that's pretty much it. The one other thing that you can do though, is you can double click on that green screen video again if you wanna size down uh, or size up whomever is in that video, you can do that too. There are some other effects that I can show you as well in other videos if you would like. Um, such as motion, if you want to show the motion of someone moving from left to right or up or down or flying, there's a bunch of stuff that you can do with that too. But I'm going to stop there for now. Let me know in the comments section below if you have any questions and I'll answer every single one of them. And I hope that this video was helpful for you. Bye!